So when Kate said she liked it when it's clean in here, let me tell you a little story. Spring cleaning, right? We're trying to get rid of some of the clutter. So we have this bar cart that used to have some alcohol in it, but then we don't really drink that much anymore. And when we do, we just get some beers instead of making ourselves like an Aperol spritz because it's not 2020 anymore. So I was like, we gotta get rid of this bar cart, okay? By the way, Sir Electric, thank you for the raid. Thank you. I cleaned off the bar cart. All, I took all the liquor off of it. It had gone, I know you're gonna say it doesn't go bad. I promise you, this shit had gone bad, okay? Like it was disgusting. I, I poured it all out in the sink, washed the bottles, recycled the bottles, um, cleaned off the whole bar cart, found a picture of the exact bar cart online, and I said, hey, Corey, do you want this? He said, let me check with my uh, girlfriend. And he said, no, I don't want it. I said, no problem. Then I said, hey, Kate, today we should make a post on like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace and just give away this bar cart for free, okay? This was Saturday at... 9.07 a.m. It's the damn start of the weekend. It's the one thing on my to-do list. Kate says, good idea, okay? Then she says, wait, let me ask my sister if my sister wants it. Sister comes back in one second. Boop, I want it. Okay, great. Well, we're not going to drive it to you because you live three hours away, but we can like hang on to it. And next time you uh, come over, you can pick it up. Then she starts sending back, can you give me some measurements? Will it fit in our car? Oh, I'm not sure if it'll fit in the trunk. Oh, I don't know if we have a place for it in our house. Can we disassemble it so that we can like fit it into our trunk? We're like, yeah, yeah, it's all good. No big deal. This takes us till Sunday morning. Finally on Sunday morning, Kate texted her sister and was like, do you still want it? Five hours later, we get a reply. Uh, no, actually, you guys can just get rid of it. Motherfucker. <laughs> I had one thing on my to do list so easy to accomplish for the whole weekend. All you had to do was say no the first time, make a post on Craigslist, free bar cart. It would be, it would be locusts outside of our house in like an hour. They'll be like, I'm here, I'll pick it up. No problem, I got it, I got it, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. People would be banging down, beating down our damn door to get it. It's like Sunday at 7 p.m. I'm not making that post. Gotta wait till like next weekend, man. Anyway, it's not like a big deal, but it's kind of annoying. <laughs> what happened to it? It's still sitting here. <laughs> Just put it out on the street. I don't think we really do that here. Like, you see it sometimes, but like, I don't know. I feel like when people put furniture out on the street, it's like, basically they're like, I don't know how to throw this away. I'm doing this like, to make myself feel good that I'm donating it, but actually, like, it's just out of sight, out of mind. I would, I got no problem putting it on Craigslist and just being, like, free if you come pick it up. Because at least then they, like, want it. But, like, I'm not gonna put, like, a piece of furniture out there on the street and then, like, it rains or something like that. And, you know, like, I think it's just littering. Put it out on the street. Negative two. Okay, actually, it's um, classist for me to put it out on the street because I live in uh, a, a pretty nice neighborhood where, like, we got a lot of people driving BMWs here and paying for their heated seats. So if I put it on Craigslist, that gives the opportunity for people who might not be able to afford their own bar carts to actually uh, get a bar cart and have a nice piece of furniture. So I would be I would be an asshole if I put it out on the street. How do you feel now? You fucking dickhead. <laughs> I drove through a nice neighborhood once and found a Herman Miller on the side of the road. See, that's cr that must have been an office that went out of business. Because if, if my ass was getting rid of my Herman Miller, I would definitely put it on Craigslist for like 500 bucks. There's no shot I'm leaving that. Like the bar cart, whatever. <laughs> my, you're not getting the Herman Miller on, on uh, you know, free if you pick it up. Craigslist. The bar card story is Boomer Energy? No, it's not. Boomer Energy would be like, I need to get rid of this bar card. I'm going to put it on Craigslist for like $500. My ass was just like, I want to get it out of my house. I'm, I'll donate it to anybody. Anybody that can come pick it up can take it. Boomers will be like, hey, I have uh, 3,000 baseball cards from my childhood. I don't know what any of them are. I'll take 5,000 bucks for the whole lot. No, I'm going to put that shit on, like, I'm not even going to tell you what website I'm going to put it on. 
Now that I've played my hand, I gotta just leave that shit on the side of the road. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely right. I gotta now my because I brought up the damn anecdote. Now I gotta load it into my fucking car and drive to Goodwill or something like that. Because God forbid, if I loaded it up and drove to the Salvation Army, people would be like, "A Salvation Army is not actually a good organization." So my ass goes to Value Village. Oh, Value Village! Do you know they just sell all the donations that you get by weight and oh, motherfucker. Okay, where? What am I? What am I supposed to do? I hate when you have like a shared garbage room. This is why I don't like leaving stuff on the side of the road, because I like to think that I'm better than at least some other people. Not everybody, there's people that are better than me. Anybody who keeps their compost in their own freezer is definitely like better than me. I keep it on the counter um, and then just take it down more often. I'm not willing to sacrifice my freezer space for the compost. That's where the frozen french fries go. And really, like if you have a Costco membership, you can only afford to put two things in your freezer anyway, because they're all so big. But anyway, regardless, so, you know, when we've had shared, like, garbage and recycling rooms, every once in a while, you'll just, like, walk down there and someone has placed an entire couch in the garbage or recycling room. And you're like, you can walk through their headspace, but you just want to, like, sit them down for a second and be like, brother, I didn't want your couch, like, to begin with. And secondly, I definitely don't want it now that it's been soaking up, like, a thousand people's garbage vapor for, like, a week and a half down here. Like, it's just the way that you can dump your shit but like not have to actually pay for someone to take it away and then also you can be like no i didn't throw it away i left it somewhere where someone could take it and then it's it was there for long enough that eventually like the hoa just paid someone to take it away someone put a six foot long wood and steel sideboard in our apartment dumpster today that shit pisses me off man I'm gonna have like a bad tape to tape run one day. I'm gonna go down and like take our cardboard boxes down to the recycling. Someone's gonna have purchased an entire house's worth of furniture on Wayfair without having actually broken down the boxes or taken their name and address off the label. And we're gonna go up there and we're gonna have a conversation. I know one day it's gonna happen. I'll be like, hey, 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 you seem to have left uh, 15 extremely large uh, boxes unfolded in the recycling. I just want to know why you think your time is more valuable than everybody else's. Just interested to know why you think that like, you're the only person here that's like busy. I'm a heart surgeon. No, you're not. They're Ikea boxes. Don't flatter yourself. Okay, just match speed. Match speed! The front fell off. The classic make up a guy and get mad at him. Or would you rather I do what... Uh, my prime demographic always does. Don't make up a guy and get mad at him. Pick a real guy and get mad at him. Spoilers, it's always Ted Cruz. I'm starting to think that me and this Ted Cruz guy wouldn't really get along if we met in real life. Thanks, Norm. Dude, did you see the... Because it must have been the anniversary of Norm MacDonald's death, right? People were posting his favorite jokes. I've never been a, a huge Norm MacDonald guy, but the clip from the ESPYs where he says like, oh, this guy won Defensive Player of the Year and the Heisman in the same year, congratulations. No one can take that away from you. That is unless you kill your wife and a waiter at the same time, in which case, uh, what are you gonna do? Oh, man. Maybe I am a boomer, cause I'm like a little too young to be laughing at OJ Simpson jokes, but Swedish Aladdin. <laughs> I can show you the fjords. Colt Boulard with Lingam Berries. Henrik Daniel, Sardine Elias, Peterson. Uh, Matt Sundin, a whole new world. Sorry. Yeah.